how to use Linktree free version. Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you guys how you can build an amazing Linktree with the free version. So you don't have to pay anything, not a single dime, to create an amazing Linktree profile. And I'll show you guys how. So let's jump right in. To get started, simply head on over to Linktree and click on sign up for free. Once you click on sign up for free, you're going to choose a username. Now your username matters a lot because that is the link that everyone is going to see. So whatever is your professional name, so you're going to add that. Whatever is your public name, you want to add that. So my public name is already taken. Now there are a few alternate ways I can now adapt this. I can either add another Y and that is available or I can add a number. I feel like adding a Y sounds better rather than having an odd little number at the end. So I will add Gleaming Girly as my link tree. After that, I will choose my email address. So I will just go on ahead and enter that over here. Now, another thing to note is that you can sign up for Linktree using Google or Apple to speed up the process. Now, once you have entered your email address, you can create a password to log in and then click on continue. Once you click on continue, it's time to get started with building Linktree. But don't forget to verify your account before you can proceed with publishing your Linktree because if your email address is not verified, Linktree is not going to allow you to proceed. Now over here we're going to be choosing the free plan and we're going to be creating our Linktree for free. Now, these are some onboarding questions which you can completely skip because they are not required. Go into your mailbox, whether it is Google or Apple or Yahoo, and simply verify your email address for Linktree. Now, once we click on this verification link, it's time to continue building. Now, over here, you're going to see a preview on the right of your Linktree. Currently, it's completely empty. So let's get started with adding our links. Now for me, I want to add my Instagram and I want to add my Amazon recommendations. To do that, I will click on add link over here. Now for this, you will see on the bottom, you have inspired by your interests and you can actually click on view all apps to actually directly link apps. So I can click on Instagram over here and you will see you have the Instagram profile link. I can go on ahead and add Instagram. And then I can add the URL of my profile. To find the URL of your profile, simply open up your Instagram and go into profile over here. From the top, you can copy the link address and that is your profile link. For any social media platform, if you feel a bit confused on to what is my user handle, what is my username, what's the difference, just copy the link when you open the profile, when you open your own profile from the top and that is the link you want to add. Go into your, into your Linktree admin and click on the pencil icon ahead of URL. Then paste in the URL. Once you do that, you can see your Instagram profile link. Now below that, you have your link settings. If you want the link to directly link to your URL, if you want to display latest Instagram posts or only reels in profile. And you also have the option for layouts. So to build an amazing link tree, go into the layout section and convert your first link into a layout. Now, this is really important to note, only convert this into a layout if you're going to add a thumbnail and I'll show you guys how to build a thumbnail. But we, if your link tree is not supposed to have one really important thing of focus, then you can skip this out. But I want everyone to focus on my Instagram. For that reason, I'm adding a thumbnail for my Instagram. So whatever you're trying to bring focus to, add that as your thumbnail. This is going to be helpful in redirecting people towards a certain action. So I'm going to go into Canva and we will see this is a rectangular size. So I'll just go ahead and search for banner over here in Canva. And you're going to just upload your own picture and you can just build a really nice little banner or a really nice little image for you. Now I am going to be taking some cute template and I'll just slightly customize this. And these are a bit too wide for me. So I'm going to click on create design. I'll just go into Canva, custom size, inches, and then I'll go into 
14 inches by 10 and then i'll just click on create new design over here to build my design now over here what i'm going to do is i am going to go into elements and search for pink background because i love pink and i'll take this little satin texture one which i think looks really cute and i'll just add that over here i can even go into the graphics one and add some glitter elements like this over here and i'll just add them again like so and i'll flip them so they don't look this awkwardly placed over there oh, i'm moving the background image i'm just going to place this and i think they look a bit awkward like that so instead of doing that i'll just resize the glitter over here and then i will go ahead and add some of this splatter glitter or some of this type of glitter no i think that's too much I, I just like it simpler and then i can go into elements or uploads and upload my own photo i'm just going to be using a model photo because why not who cares i'll use this image over here for my instagram or this one so i'll just use this photo over here like so then click on share click on download and download this as a png now, as we are doing this, we can proceed with adding the rest of our links onto Linktree. So we're going to upload our own thumbnail and I'm just gonna drag our thumbnail like so, click on crop and upload. And now our thumbnail is being uploaded. Now to add my Amazon recommendations, I'll just open up Amazon and I'll copy the link for my Amazon product. You can add affiliates. I'm just adding a couple of recommendations. Your links are totally up to your personal preferences. So once I've done that, I can proceed. I will click on add link and I'll add a URL like this and I'll click on add. Then I will change the title of the URL to say something like um, my favorite foundation like this. And I can add a heart. I can add emojis. You can also schedule certain links. You can add thumbnails. You can add, you can prioritize certain thumbnails, but most of these features are paid. You can also add affiliates, but you do have to mention affiliates when you are using them. So because this is a premium feature, just add brackets and write affiliates in it. That's all you have to do to make sure you are complying with disclosure agreements and terms. Now, once I have added my two links, I will go into appearance on the left and it's time to customize the appearance. Now, most of these templates are going to be locked or they're only available for the premium version. So it's really easy to use your own images or use your own gradients and stuff. And what I'm going to do is I am going to be using a simple color as the background because that just looks really classy. And for that, just scroll to the background, scroll to the bottom and right under these templates. These are free templates, by the way. You can actually use some of these templates if you want, but I like to go with solid color. So I'll go into flat color over here and I can pick out a color that I like and I'll pick out pink because I really like that. So I'll just pick this color out from here, which looks like a very purpley color. Yeah, now it looks pink. And now I can choose my link styles as well. So if I want them to be rounded, if I want them to have shadows, if I want them to have hard shadows, I think I like hard shadows, so I will opt for that. Below that, I can also customize my button colors. So I will go ahead and add a dark pink color as the button shadow color. And after that, I'm going to customize the font color to black. And I can also customize my fonts so we can pick out a font that looks best for our branding. And once you've done that, you can proceed with adding your link in bio. You can click in settings to further edit the settings of your link tree, but you can click on links or you can just click on share and then copy your link tree. And I'll open this up to show you guys what it looks like. So this is our amazing link tree created in around 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.